That does not feel like it. Guys, we have a lot to do. It's finally time to put things away in the dresser. All that's just dirty laundry. So we're gonna see how much we can fit in this dresser and like how we're gonna organize it and everything. It's gonna be a process, but we're gonna do it and it's gonna be great. Like, I don't even know. I think underwear and socks can go in like, I think this thing that slides around the top, we're just gonna do underwear and socks at the bottom. Like what should we make the top drawer? I feel like leggings and stuff I reach most for. Ew, boy. But you know how people fold them a certain way? I need to look up on TikTok how people do it. Okay, hi guys. Did I tell you guys about Style Exchange? It was really good. I went, I might be working with them. That's the top I wore to the game last week. They were like, hey, like a lot of people have come into the store and shown us this top and they want it. And so we think it'd be good to work with you. I got coffee with them at Barnes and Noble. I didn't be, I didn't know it'd be so official. He was like an actual like fashion designer guy. Like he seemed like very high up in fashion. He was like the creative design head guy. So he was like, how do, how can you help us? And he gave me all the history of Style Exchange, like what they do, how they do it, why they do it. But he was like, that's not what he wanted me to portray to my audience just to get them to shop at Style Exchange. But he like, educated me on like fashion and background of it which is so interesting to me because like I do not know much about fashion and I kept telling them that and they're like that's okay it was really good and then I came home and then I worked got to work on my dresser and it was so much work like putting all that stuff away and oh my god people are around me while I'm talking to this camera but, like it reminded me of like when me and Ryan were putting stuff away in the closet and it was just so much and it's stressful because I have so much clothes and just finding a spot for everything but I think we're almost done tomorrow we should be able to finish the dresser but then I went to Core Power met Sydney and Ryan at Core Power and basically Core Power is hot yoga but it's extreme like it's not extremely hot where it's gross but you get so hot that you sweat like you're covered in like layers and layers and layers of sweat like dripping 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 all of that it's like the works I think I like the works better because this one feels too yogi but this one might be harder I don't know but it was really good, but it was an hour long. I was hoping it'd be like 45 minutes, but it was an hour. But yeah, I had to rush there because I got distracted putting st stuff away in the dresser, which I gotta show you guys my progress tomorrow. But I made it just in time. They let me. And I got right next to Ryan and Sydney. And it was a really good class and I feel good. Now I need to go shower and watch Southern Charm and have the leftover taco soup. So let's go inside. Hi guys, so real quickly, I just want to thank the sponsor of this video. It is Ginny Kane. I've been so obsessed with their sweaters. I'm wearing one right now. In Charleston, it's like the perfect weather right now. It's like cold in the morning, so I just throw on this little sweater and it's just the perfect material. And I can like layer it for the winter. I can wear it with like little shorts and Ugg slippers. Now for this like folly stuff. And like, I feel like they're just like staples. And you guys like, the more I grow up, the more I'm like down to like invest in like nice pieces that will like last me longer and just be nicer because closet space is limited y'all closet space is limited so i've been into like getting like super nice pieces and less like staple pieces and jenny kane is a perfect stop for staple pieces look at the material of this sweater like it is just so comfy on it is the perfect size obviously they have so many different sizes i like to get it a little oversized jenny kane is a california brand and their staples just have made me getting ready like 
so much easier. Like now I'm about to go to a pumpkin patch tomorrow and I can't wait to just like easily style this, throw on a pair of jeans. Like it's just these staples in my closet have helped my wardrobe and my fashion sense so much. Think like minimalist, effortless, but all of that refined, which I'm so excited because that's like, since I moved to Charleston, I've been trying to become a minimalist. I've done good. I had a huge clothing sale, got rid of a lot. And just like my decor has been minimalist. So I'm very proud of myself. And so Jenny Kane's helped me get to that point because I feel like that's what their brand represents. I just love girls that are like that effortless cool look. And I feel like Jenny Kane like helps you achieve that they have luxurious cashmere sweaters amazing accessories to basics to elevated basics for your everyday basics but they're elevated they also have incredible home essentials which is so good because i just moved and we're looking for home essentials for a limited time if you guys are watching this you get 15 percent off discount to jenny kane's website use code anna hyde for 15 percent off the link is in the description go do it you guys it's only a limited time you get a 15 percent off everything on Jenny Kane website. Go do it. Use code Anna Hyde. I would not want to miss this if I were you guys. I like how like if you look at all the different collections, every piece is styled so that like they can effortlessly just like go together and you don't have to think twice about it, which I personally love. I love how they go for timeless designs. So like this will never go out of style. This perfect staple elevated basic gray sweater. I'm also going to shop because I've been looking for my bed. They have cozy throw blankets. I'm going to shop for some of those that'll go with my room and finish the final touches. They also have an incredible rewards program where you can earn up to 10% back with every purchase. And joining that rewards program is completely free. Find your forever pieces at jennykane.com that's 15 percent off at j-e-n-n-i-k-a-y-n-e.com promo code anna hyde getting dressed should not be a stressor for you guys go do it shop jenny kane and get your perfect essentials that are so elevated and amazing and i'm just so obsessed and so blessed to even be wearing this what the heck so the sweater i got will also be linked this is the alpaca cocoon crew neck highly recommend but i will be shopping for more so thank you jenny kane thank you you guys go shop comment what you guys ordered and now back to the video i got home i showered now we're gonna heat up this i don't know if this chili will heat up in that will it I don't know why that won't start, but we got to clean out this. Y'all, I didn't vlog at all at F45, but I did on my phone, so I forgot you in the car. So insert phone clip with Sydney and Kaylee. I met them at F45. Just don't know how I feel about F45. Today was a strength training day, which I especially don't like. I don't know. I prefer cardio or like yoga or Pilates, but it was good to see my friends. Now let's go get packages. We're gonna do a walk later too, like a super long one. Okay, hey, we're back. Like I said, I told you guys about F45. Love the like, I mean, I don't really love. Every time I go, I just go when my friends go to meet up with them. Ew, these scissors need to be clean. Okay, these are the new pillowcases I ordered. I need to return the other ones, actually, because I didn't. The blue I like, I just needed a different size. But I think these will be even better for the coastal vibe. And I ordered smaller so that they'll be more firm. I think these are gonna be really cute. I'm gonna save this in case I decide to return the other ones. I'm working with JS Health. Stay tuned for TikTok on that. My friend Lily runs 112. Look what she sent me. These are so cute, this navy one. On the way, 112s. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I have so many good neutral hats now. Lily and Andy, they just got engaged too. Thank you, Lily and Andy. They both run it, they just got engaged. Look how cute this bag is, y'all. Tell me this is not so cute in the perfect beach bag. I'm obsessed. It's like congrats on the move. I love personal notes. I'm gonna eat my oats, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna write out everything I need to get done today because there's like a lot of little tasks that are looming over me that we just need to do. I added yogurt to my overnight oats, let's see how they are. Hmm. Wait, really good. Hmm. All right.
trying two of the single Starbucks and espresso pods so we get a double shot. So I think they're single. Okay, I've been a freaking builder. Let me show y'all what I did. This is the coat rack that's gonna go in the entryway, but this is supposed to be on top. And at first I did it wrong, and I had this thing facing the other way. Oh God, this looks so bad. So then instead of fixing it and unscrewing this and this, I just put this upside down. So I don't know this one. I, I really don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm not fucking redoing it. I hate building. This is why men should build. I can't. And then this fucking, the screws won't go in anymore. So this ladder is like loose as fuck and I don't know how to fix it, but like it does the job. Like everything I build, I build wrong. Like I just need to learn to call people, but I'm not even gonna try to drill this in. Like this, the next boy that steps foot in my house is gonna have to mount this on the wall. Hi guys. Sorry, my steering wheel's just in my face. I have been super productive today. First, we started by, I called my dad and we started figuring out my taxes because I had federal and New York state taxes due from last year because we filed for an extension. And so I had to do those. We were really late on those. In a quarter mile. Not like late, but like we filed for extension. So now those are done. So it was a huge chunk and it was stressful. I don't even know. It ended the call, we got this state one but we still had you no know, we got federal done but we still had to do the state one so my dad's still trying to figure that one out but did that and then i lost my credit card so i have the new one come in and i had to put that to my apple wallet and like reload that and renew my subscription for google because it canceled that out got that situated and then i finished my dresser i still got to show you guys when i get home i finished the last box of clothes it felt good to finally finally get the last box of stuff out of my room the last moving box is out of my room. And then I have the bag of Goodwill stuff right next to me. I'm headed there now actually to Goodwill. And we're gonna bring stuff there. At the next light, turn left. That's just stuff from my dresser that like I didn't need. I do need, I wanna order an extra little thing of storage for like a couple extra things in my dresser, but for the most part, everything fits. But my like drawer with like leggings and shorts and then sweat shorts and like nice shorts. I just need another drawer of storage and then we'll be good, I feel like. So I need to look on Amazon for one of those. And then I have my overnight oats. They were good, but they can be better. We're gonna try a different recipe tonight or like just making it a little bit better. And then you guys just saw I had a smoothie for lunch. I even sold stuff on Poshmark, which I'm excited because a couple things I've already sold, but we're gonna deal with that tomorrow. Oh frick, I meant to go to UPS. So we're gonna go to UPS, make two returns. We're returning the blue pillow covers just cause I wanted the tan ones with the little burlap on them. I don't know if you guys have seen them. Yeah, I think I showed them when I was unboxing this morning, but I ordered 18 by 18 instead of 20 by 20 because I thought we were, I thought somebody told me rule of thumb order smaller or bigger inserts so your pillow is fluffier, but everyone told me it's the opposite so you can chop them. I don't know what it is. So I ended up just, I'm like, fuck it. I'm just gonna order the same size. So I ordered the 20 by 20 for the pillowcases and but I gotta return those ones and then the blue ones. And it says I don't need to package them or label. I just scan the QR code. So they don't give me trouble and that isn't too hard. It wants me to turn around on this road, but like, I don't know. Okay, we're good. So we turned around and then I think my YouTube video is about to get approved. So we'll go live with that when, when the brand approves it. Oh, and then I built the ladder as you guys saw, but again, the screws wouldn't go all the way in. There was a couple taking wedding pictures. Did they just get married? Oh my gosh, she looks so beautiful. So the screws are loose, but it still is cute and has blankets. And then I built the little co-hanger. Mac was like, shouldn't we get little individual hooks for each 
little panel, but my idea was to put it on the wall across from it. So we're gonna do that and next boy or Ryan that walks into my house is gonna mount it. And then I just met the girl and I met her because she bought my prints because I used to have pink prints as you guys saw, and like other prints from Decineo. But instead I just got a bunch of blue ones as you guys have seen in the living room and my room. So I don't need those prints anymore, but I didn't want to just throw them away. So I sold like all of them for $30, which normally I feel like this print would be like two, 300, like all of those prints. So. That was really perfect. I just pulled up, I just put my hazards on and she ran by, gave me the 30 bucks cash. I've got to start remembering to use my cash. I literally never remember to use cash, but whatever, it's money. And I gave her the bread, so it was perfect. So now I'm gonna use PS. Then we're gonna go to Goodwill. If we have time, we're gonna go to Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx vibes in Mount Pleasant and shop for like a pillow for my bed and a throw blanket for my bed. And cause we need a little front pillow after the burlap ones and a throw blanket and then couch pillows and maybe like coastal blue books. But I'm sure those will be sold out of those. And then our plan is to take a long walk on the beach at Sullivan's. That's why I'm going over to Mount Pleasant and to walk during sunset. So, oh shoot, this is a different UPS than I thought. Oh, here it is though. So I'm excited for the sunset walk. Okay, I'll talk to you guys once I'm done with the UPS store. I forget how easy Amazon returns are. Like that was so freaking easy. I literally didn't even have to have a box or a label. She literally just scanned and said, thanks, have a great day. Like period. But it's gonna take us 25 minutes to get to the Goodwill of Mount Pleasant in like 30 minutes to get to the beach when normally it takes like literally like 15. But I think I forget it's like literally it's 5 p.m. It's like rush hour, but whatever. We'll just enjoy the little car ride and play our Zach Bryan and yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you guys probably when I'm at Goodwill. Hi. Clothes in one bag. Thank you. You too. So easy. A different Goodwill than I went to last time, but it was just as easy. Now to the beach. Starting route to Sullivan's Island Beach. Heck yay, we're at home and it's time to make HelloFresh. I showered, I didn't wash my hair, I'm gonna try to wait till Wednesday or Thursday. But whenever we make HelloFresh, you already know that we need a poppy. We're gonna get classic pull up. So good. Well, I put it, no matter what, I lost the, or the meat went bad, so I'm making chicken, so I can't make salmon. But, so it's either this salmon crusted thingy, Parmesan herb crusted salmon, or tungin spiced meatballs. But I don't have either of those meats, so it's either chicken and then broccoli and couscous, or it's chicken and mashed potatoes and asparagus. And I kinda want the broccoli and couscous, even though I took out the other ones. Another HelloFresh slay. Here's my leftovers. And then chicken instead of salmon. I hope it's cooked all the way. I'm not sure because the chicken wasn't all the way thought on, but I feel like it's good. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna eat this, watch Southern Charm, drink my Coca-Cola. The mashed potatoes are looking interesting, but hopefully it'll be good. Morning guys. Last night we did sunset and now we're at sunrise. I even got up, did my skincare, put on my gym outfit. Oh, I forgot my glow screen, dang it. But we put on a pair of sweatpants this time because it's cold. And we brought Jesus calling a Bible. And we made it. I thought this was the right time to do it because it's literally 7.30. Like we can get up. Okay guys, I just went on a walk with Sydney and Kaylee and it was really good. I think we did like two to three miles. Got a little bit of cardio in before the works. And now we have the works class. 
which is hot yoga, but it's like bursts of cardio because it's the mashup one. And it's hot, so I'm gonna sweat so bad. And I'm already so tired, I need another coffee. I have so much to catch y'all up on. First, let's try this coconut water and mango. I don't really love coconut water, but it hydrates you good. Wait, that's pretty good. I need to be hydrated after all that sweat I just lost. They also had La Colombe oat milk vanilla latte, which does not taste like the real La Colombe coffee, but it does the job. Okay, last we talked, I was on the hot girl walk with Kayleen Sid, or we just finished the hot girl walk, and we were going into form. Pilates. The f workout was so good. I, well, I've been to the Mount Pleasant location one time before. That's the location of the works. That's, I normally go downtown, but I went one time a couple years ago with Mac. You know, when you're like places and you don't recognize them because when you went to them the first time, you didn't know the area. So I went back and I was like, oh my God, I've been here before. But it was the first time since I've moved here going to that location and it was so good. I wanted to share the message with you guys because they do a message at the beginning and end at the works. Before we started, we were on our back closing our eyes and she was telling us a story. She was saying how she gets like bad anxiety on planes, but one was really bad. She was taking a United flight, which is what happened to me that one time that I haven't really shared, but I'm going to, going to, to Newark, which is again where I was going. Or I was going to JFK, something like that. And she was saying that the turbulence was like extremely bad. It was like a storm, literally what happened to me. And she started to have a panic attack and she just could not breathe, did not know what to do. And she said this lady next to her asked her if it's okay. She does some breathing exercises with her. And she's like, yes, of course. And she was like, I don't know what I would have done without that lady. Her small act of kindness that she thought was a small act of kindness literally like saved me. Like I thought I was dying and like she saved and changed her life. Basically the message was like to do small acts of kindness. And then she said, she had another flight like three months later or like two years later and it was on the anniversary of her mom's death. My mom also passed away. Like it was just creepy the similarity of the stories and so she had the flight and a girl tapped her on the shoulder behind her and it was the same girl and she said, I'm, a, I'm gonna be a couple rows back if you need me. And she was like, what are the odds? Like this is literally my guardian angel. This is my mom like guardian angel that this girl's on the same flight on my mom's death anniversary. That is crazy. And then I think I, was, I had to leave to get to my appointment. But when I was leaving, I think she said she saw her again. And she came into a class here and she like jaw dropped. I was like, what the heck? Um, but anyway, so my story is I don't share it because when I was in like the peak of my plane anxiety, like I didn't like to talk about that's it. That's a light. Like honestly, that's how I kind of got over my plane anxiety. Not over, it still is there and I think it could come back again as strong as it did. But the way I, a lot of you ask how I got over it and it was just to literally stop talking about it. Stop making it a big deal. Stop anticipating it. Stop talking about it to your friends. Stop making it a thing. And then just gaslight yourself basically into thinking it's not a thing. Yeah, so my experience like that was I was on a United flight back from Coachella. I was with Amanda in Autumn, but I don't think I was sitting by them. I might have been sitting by Autumn, but the turbulence was so bad. I'm talking like roller coaster up and down, bouncy house, terrifying. Like, like I was like, we are not gonna be okay. Like, there's no way that we're gonna be okay. And it wasn't just my planes, I think even Autumn and Amanda were scared on the flight. They were afraid. And it was nighttime, stormy, like it was just not good, and it was a long flight. So I was freaking out. I was like looking from like like person to person because when I get nervous I try to look at flight attendants and look at other passengers or other people on the plane to like make sure everyone's still good and so I was like whipping my head around doing that and then it just kept getting worse and would not get better and then I got to the point where I was like crying I was audibly praying I was like please God please God like audibly crying and praying this guy across from me reaches his hand out grabs my hand and it wasn't creepy like at all like it was so comforting I look at him and he like makes that kind go of past this light then at the next one turn right and he makes eye contact with me and he goes it's gonna be okay. And I was like, oh my God. Like, and he started distracting me, telling me about his son in college, asking me about my life. He kept telling me, we're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost done, we're, we got this. Like, what? he was literally holding my hand across the aisle and like, I think about him all the time. So basically like his small act of kindness was changed my life. So like, we should do small acts of kindness like that all the time because you never know how much you can change somebody's life. Like I think about him a lot. And so yeah, I just wanna share that with you guys. And then I ran over cause I had a Botox appointment with Conover Aesthetics, the Form Pilates place, which I work with her, Rivers does Form Pilates and I work with her and I'm so grateful because I love the Pilates class. The Pilates classes were full. They were doing an event with the aesthetic place next door. 
the med spa. So I couldn't do a Pilates class, but I already did the work, so it was fine. But I went to go get Botox, because I could get free Botox, and they were offering lip flips, but I didn't need a lip flip, because I already have filler. So instead, she let me do baby Botox, because I didn't want it to be like, where I don't move. She was like, do you want like baby Botox where it just smooths At the, the next line? light, turn left. Or do you want it where it literally like freezes it? And I was like, I don't think I want freezing yet. I think I want that when I'm older. So I just got baby Botox, but then I also got jaw Botox for like clenching my jaw, masseter Botox, and the muscles which didn't hurt surprisingly. Actually, none of it really hurt. It hurt a little more up here, but I thought it would because she didn't numb it, but it wasn't bad, but I'm also used to it. It's like a sharp pinch. Yeah, so she did Botox all up there in the forehead and middle and then the masseter, and it was so nice. Here in Charleston, go to Conover Aesthetics. I form Pilates this is in downtown Charleston. Yeah, it was good, and now I'm like five minutes from home and I'm gonna make a smoothie bowl and watch some YouTube and then it's like Loki. I could go lay on the pool. I wasn't gonna, but it's 75 and it's gonna be to 78, so I might as well go lay by the pool today. The only other thing I have later today is we have kickball. Our kickball game is at nine, so we're meeting at shelter at 7.15 to pregame drinks and stuff. I wanna get a couple other things done. Maybe I'll take a nap since I was up for sunrise, but and it's gonna be a long day with kickball, but we'll see. I kinda wanna set up my rug. That means I have to move my bed. We'll figure it out. I can't believe all my dresser stuff's put away. I have to remember to bring Kaylee a vacuum because I was gonna sell my vacuum, but Kaylee's like, wait, I don't have a vacuum. I was like, oh my God, you're my friend. I'm gonna give it to you. So I'm gonna give her my vacuum. I gotta remember to bring that to kickball. Yeah, really good start to my morning. My devotional was super good. I do Jesus Calling, the devotional. I should probably try a new one because once I've had that one forever but I really like it and I like how it has like the little message and then at the bottom it tells you what chapters you can go read. So I go read them after if I want to or I just read the devotional but today I went and read the little verses that go along with the daily devotional for today. I will talk to you guys later. My daily special smoothie bowl but it's in a cup this time. It's really good. I had mangoes. I only had a little bit of frozen fruit but I had some mangoes that weren't frozen that I added and it's so good. I'm gonna watch YouTube. I've been making this since sophomore year of college. Do a little unboxy haul. I had my smoothie. It was so good. We're gonna unbox, clean up the dishes, and go to the pool because I want to read my book and lay out. I'm gonna try to save these because I haven't had a chance to get stuff, packages for my Poshmark stuff. So I think I can just like repackage it, some of these things. Again, this is for my Halloween costume. It's probably, I've definitely already worn it before this comes out. So you know that I was Jasmine for Halloween. But this necklace is perfect for it. And then these earrings are also perfect for it. Oh, I'm working with a blender bomb. Get up and go, she blender bomb. I need to ask Erin how she makes hers. She knows she put it to a masterpiece. Java Jolt blender bomb, the OG blender bomb. So next smoothie I make, I'm gonna try making with that. And I'll let you guys know how it goes because I have like a sign up code you guys can use to sign up. And I get a certain amount of commission if y'all sign up. So I think you guys should. Oh, paper towel holder. Finally. I got one that just like suctions to the top right here. Why are there nails? Why? Why must everything be involved? Building. I'm sick of it. We'll do that later. Sick of it. Ooh, these are like for my hands, for my costume. Jewelry. It's like hand jewelry. I don't know if this package can be reused. Let's see. I just be careful. This is from Triple Threads. They sent me a package. They're a clothing company. These navy sweats, super cute. Oh my God, this is perfect for a little game day. I'll have to wear this a game day. It's a little romper. That is perfect. Wow. This is a statement necklace. <laughs> and then, oh, look at this little set. It's a sweater set. And it comes with this matching skirt. That is actually so cute. I'm excited to wear that. Thank you, Anna. Anna's your code, just code Anna on Triple Threads website. Maroon ribbon for games, because everyone's been tying. My friend Jordan Menino did it for a Bama game, and I was like, this is so cute. I have to have bows in my hair for the next game. Will that happen? Stay tuned. Oh, this is from Sammy Ryan. She's the best. They give me PR. So these sweats, they're like green velvety sweats. And it has this little thing over here. And then a matching top. Oh, that's so cute. It's a green velvet top. I love their matching set. Smile, stay true to who you are. Authenticity is everything. So cute. All right, we'll try and put the labels so we can ship those flash marks later. I need to take pictures of this for Instagram. And then, yeah. Good afternoon. I tried to take a nap y'all and I just couldn't. Like it just did not work out for me. Don't know why. So I think I just sat there for an hour, but 
we went down to the lobby and made some coffee, French vanilla latte from the coffee machine. And I printed my Poshmark orders. So I'm about to pack up those and get some things done before we leave for kickball. We should probably pick up the bed. Cause it's gonna go like this, long ways. Yeah. So should we flip the bed that way? Like flip it. Yeah, because- I think it'll hit the fan. I think we're just gonna have to lift up and then unroll as we go. You don't think like flip sideways or something? Oh, we could like turn it, like move the bed and then roll out it. Let I me see how heavy this stuff is. Oh, we're golden. Yeah, but we're golden. We're just gonna have to turn that way, do it, lift up a little bit, and then put it back on. You don't think we should fully like, where are we gonna do that? <laughs> like this, like, wah, like, pshh. I know. Yeah, your little shelves in the fan would hit right here. Okay, we're just gonna move it. <laughs> Wait, there's a certain way we're supposed to do this for our little. Like as far that way yeah, as possible. As far this way. Okay. Okay, this man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Just do the whole thing. <laughs> Wait, we don't want it that far back, do we? Okay. Okay. We're moving it. We're moving okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I can't. What if I just ate it? <laughs> <laughs> Is this how far out we want it? Yeah. Okay. What the. F This corner, though. Okay. Corners are good back there? Yep. And now. Ready? Um. <laughs> it's not this wide. <laughs> it's not wide at all. It's the side of the bed. Or you could do that way, twist it sideways. <laughs> Let me get my tape measure. Oh, the, I know the reason I got the side because if I got it bigger, it'd be too long. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, we can always scoot it up still. I know. A hundred and four. We could do that way. You want to do that way? I think. Yeah, because it looks it, weird this way. Yeah. Idea. Basically that. That was not your idea. You're lying. Scuba takeover of some. Well, I feel like we should do one scuba takeover because it's not going to be that interesting. Yeah, we'll do one video. No, but we. Yeah, we we'll get a whole. Let us do it on a Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, the fans are like a Saturday, and it'll start with us waking over, waking up just hungover as fuck. No, and guys, this is a trick you have to. You're gonna hit it, but you have to set up the camera, get back in bed, well, here's and pretend to wake up. Like that's how you vlog. We did set it up the night before. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
I, I, I had it for eight hours. <laughs> can it just, well, we don't sleep for eight hours. <laughs> we're going to on the weekend. It's good day if we get four hours. Wait, no way. Is it still on? Hey, go to YouTube really quick. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Is there videos on it? I need to see yeah. right now. No, I got a better channel for you. Okay, comment if you want a scuba takeover. If you're no, like, Anna, what's scuba? It's their house that they all live in. And yeah, let me know if you want a day in their life. I think they should do a normal day. They want to do a Saturday, but my vlog people like me in routine. Like, they don't like weekend vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> this is Vince. <bad. laughs> oh my god. I'm kind of <laughs> Why are you the same human? Cheers. Subscribe to Vince. Hello. That's, I feel cool. Wow. Cheese don't have food. Why is Green Tea the hidden kind of different right now? Like, oh god. Yeah, it wasn't great. Alright, well, we're gonna. Not gonna lie. Oh, yes. yeah. 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 That's I swear oh, yeah. there's uh, Finn in there. <laughs> I also saw I Finn. This I do remember this <laughs> Finn. Yeah, there you go. Uh uh. Uh uh. uh, 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 uh yes, yes, yes. We're back at Kickball, baby. We're back. Oh what do you have to say to the people? Ryan, you kind of terrify me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Me never. Now that's a pitch if I've ever seen one. Hey, let it go. Just let it go. Let it go. Go, go Kay! Go, go, go. Oh, oh, yeah, girl! Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Kay, okay. All day. You go, Rhyme Dog. What do you say, kid? He's yawning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's shooting another day in the office. <laughs> Come on, Ronnie. Here you go, Gator. Jared. Yeah, Woo! Yes! On the line. Yes. Oh. Go, Kyler. Good eye. What do you say, Ryan? Either or. Bombastic cake. Bombastic. Metal bombastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's killed. Oh. Okay, guys. Come on, Courtney. We're getting a little nervous. Go, Court. I'm a little nervous about this one. Normally the teams we don't like they're just whatever. <laughs> we didn't get game changers before. We didn't get. All right, we're good. We're, we're never gonna That's the problem. Chance. That's the problem. Let's try. Come on. Go 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 go! go baby. Yes, the dude shit. runs over. That's exactly what I did when it went to left, and we were fine. Everybody's Wait, listen to our idea. No, I think we play. <laughs> I'm the captain now. We did. Hey, Bloggy. Boggy, focus. <laughs> when it's a girl, girls and outfield, boys inside. When it's a boy kicking, boys and outfield, girls inside. That's not to be said. You know, as the worst team captain in the history of all time, I'm down for that. Will y'all run the half marathon? I would. Yeah, do the five ten. Yeah. Well, I'll I'll gritty it. We are the kids of I don't know many of these lyrics. But on a history book page. In a history book page, baby. Three. For real. Three double I want to decade. End of a decade. I gotta got reset. But the start of an age. Start of an age. Five, six, seven. seven. Long live. 1989 tomorrow. 1989 tomorrow. I'm more of a 1999 guy. You know what I'm going We'll see you after that. Oh, yeah. Long live. I had the time of my life fighting dragons with you. We're vlogging. Vlogging. We're officially vlogging. So, uh, we were left in me, my hands, actually. That's trouble. Y'all, okay. this is why we can't lose, because it's Wednesday and it's Duh. almost midnight and we're still out. Cause you want to know the crazy? We're sad. We are sad, one. What? You know what we're excited yeah. about? Redemption. It, well, we are excited about redemption, revenge, whatever you want to call it. So. We're, but, in our re we're in our reputation era. But th we are in our reputation era. Our revenge hashtag, era. Hashtag, wait, what album comes out tomorrow? 1989, Taylor Swift. Oh, 89, Taylor Swift. Fuck Scooter Braun. Fuck Scooter Braun. But I was like, that's not um, <laughs> Yeah, F word Scooter Braun. I don't cuss okay, because I respect, I respect myself. As everyone else says, Montana, don't give me those eyes. What's your favorite T Swift album? Speak now. <laughs> Alright, I'll speak. What's no. I'm <laughs> kidding. Speak now. That's one of my favorites. What's your favorite? Ask Carrie. Carrie, Carrie Johnson. What's your favorite? I already bought it. What's your favorite album? I think it has to be Speak Now or 1989. I'm no, tired. You, you want to know mine, Anaheim? Ask me my favorite, Anaheim. Nick, what is your favorite? You gotta give me the album. mic. Give me the mic. Uh, Red. Which one's our song on? Debut. Like first, first Amen and Jane Kiss and Winter Shit. 
and when I got home, before I said amen, asking God if he knows it, we'll play it again. Yeah, that's a fire song. Hey, hi guys. I filmed, I did good this morning. I have my coffee and then I clean the house for Mac because she's been at Alex's this week and I just wanted her to come home to a clean house. So we got that done. Dang it, I don't have any more bars. I wanted to have one of those. We have those little bars, I forgot the name of them. I'm about to go to the gym and I'm gonna get something after the gym in Pilates, but I want a little something in my system. Let's try the Jumpless chocolate chip. I haven't tried these yet. Mmm, very good. Kind of chewy. Very interesting. I wrote in my planner what I have to get done today, and I formulated a plan for the day. Cleaned, filmed a YouTube brand new that's uploading now. Posted a TikTok, we're slaying the day already. And now we're gonna go to the gym. We're gonna try to run four miles straight, but I haven't ran in a second, so it might be a little hard. Then we have a form Pilates class at one. Then we're gonna go get some kind of food and coffee again. And then we're gonna go to Marshall's, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and shop for pillows and blankets and house decor. Let's go. Hey. What are you being for Halloween? Um, Princess Jasmine. We're all being princesses. What are you being? I don't know yet. I don't know. How do you not know? That's so unlike you. I haven't figured it out this year. I wasn't gonna celebrate. You should come here. That's what Jack wants me to do, but I mean, I don't. I haven't made the decision. If I'm not coming to Charleston, I'm not, I'm not buying anything for Halloween. Dude, come. But, There's the bar crawl. That's what he said, but I'm trying to figure out what everyone's being. I mean, like, They're being like founding fathers or something. You need to be something funny. You should be Travis Kelsey. Uh, uh, 1989 day. Have we talked about that? I parked in this little parking lot, but I didn't pay because this parking lot only makes you let you pay $25 for four hours, not any less. And I was like, whatever, I'll just run into Baba's because it's across the street and there's like absolutely no parking at Baba's ever. So I was like, whatever, I'll be fast and run in. Literally, it was so fast, there was no line. And right when I got out, a guy was putting a boot on my car. Like, I was like, sir, what am I supposed to do? Like, what? And he was, he was like, the directions are on your windshield. So he was sitting in his car watching for people. Like, imagine your job just being to boot people. One time when my mom was in the hospital, in the ICU, my, they booted my uncle. Like, who was sitting outside a hospital waiting to put boots on cars? Okay, we're gonna do a Trader Joe's and Marshall's and Home Goods haul, so big haul. Sorry, Trader Joe's. I didn't go in with any recipes in mind, so we just tried to get like healthy, snacky stuff. Salad kit, the Southwest one is so good. Carrots, uh, these ones are so good. I'm gonna try to like cook them now so I can just have them in the fridge to just like snack on. These two yogurts, this is their best flavor ever, the vanilla bean. Two frozen fruits, because I like to have a smoothie literally like every day. Oh, I got this pasta salad to try, because it looks really good. Two things of soup dumplings, because they're always out and they work today. Brown rice, because I feel like you always need rice. A frozen meal, because sometimes when I come home, I want food and I don't want to order it. Crunchy curls, I ate some in the car, they're the best snack. Hard boiled egg to snack on. This sauce, Trader Soyaki sauce, is so good. Like I feel like my chicken and rice and veggies are always so bland and I don't want sauce. Peppers to dip for a snack. Dark chocolate peanut butter cups for a dessert. These ABC bars for a snack. These are so good, these, these are corn snacks. Sounds weird, but they're so good. Everything bagel seasoning. Cream cheese for the peppers. These for a dessert. My total was $67, I feel like that was pretty good. Now the marshmallow ball is pretty good. Hangers, cause I need a little bit more hangers. Mac, look at this pillow. Yeah. This look cute, I feel like this will look good at the front of my bed. And it ties in the wallpaper and the colors. Beauty blenders, cause mine are like black. I don't know why, I got a tongue scraper. I feel like I need to get junk off my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> It was speaking to me. <laughs> Electronic toothbrush, because I don't know why I don't have one. Look at these bowls that were $6. Instead of four. Perfect, because we need bowls. They were literally seven bucks, and they're so cute. And they'd be like 25 on Amazon. Hi, Max guys. back, she left me for like three whole days. I know, I had to go see the man. Wait, look. 
Wait, cute. Because I was like, it ties in the blue and fall. Wait, is that Snoop Vegan? I don't know. Is that Woodstock? What's his face? Something. She's like, like get over Snoopy. <laughs> this, because like we don't need the Myers sitting out. Like we can put the soap in yeah. this guy. And then this little glass protector, because mine was broken. And this was like literally six bucks. These are like $30 on Amazon. That's all my hauls. Productive day. Now I need to go lay down. <laughs> Guys, this is my favorite snack ever. It's boiled eggs and then everything bagel seasoning. You guys convinced Mac to go. Buster's, look at this Buster right now. Buster's thought process was she put a hat on. It didn't work. My problem is that I drank last night. I'm gonna drink tomorrow because I have to have a drink tomorrow. Yeah. And we're gonna drink Saturday. See, that's my thing. Like, if we were going to watch Sunset and eat, I would be like, okay. But the sun's about to that's set. A vibe. You guys, I also just got home from- Yeah, you I wasn't even banking on fully coming. Yeah, I just got home. They're not even fighting with they the don't, They don't give a fuck. Like, I really don't care what you do. It's Mother's Day. What? Oh, it is Mother's Day. Mom, Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh, I was like, no, it is not. No, it is not. <laughs> that would be so bad. It's 1989 day, go drink. It is 1989. That is true. Sure, do them all. You're young. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you wear everything so high waisted? Oh my god. Like, like it's already showing these are literally, Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, <laughs> Mackie. <laughs> <That's a girl. laughs> the Bachelor in Paradise is really good. Yeah, it's really good this season. Alex lives in Charlotte, so it's like a three hour. No CH. But boys, but I I do have a date tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Freaking news! You hear it out here, heard it here. Someone just said it's always better saying it. What? When is that true? <laughs> a lot of times. Ryan, somebody commented something wrong is wrong with Ryan. She's not at your house. I know, y'all. Something is wrong. I'm not with Anna. <laughs> Crunchy curls. Oh, they're really good. Mm -hmm. You know Bria from TikTok? She like made these a thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like them. Mm. One minute until 1989 Taylor's version. Remember for a speak now, we were literally in Punta Cana. She changed her profile pictures. I remember I couldn't find the speak now one right when I... Yeah, I remember that. It was like my birthday, yeah. and then we were also like, oh god, it's 12. <laughs> it's after the oh god, I, I can never find it. Oh, there it is. See, why isn't it out? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, to me. it's time, bitches. Taylor owns eight of her 10 albums. Wow, that's crazy. It broke Spotify. Oh my god, it's just not there. God, how many people are oh. looking? Oh. Oh. oh, let's listen to Slut. She crashed Spotify. See, I knew it was broke. Mm. <laughs> God, I can't wait to learn every word. She does say it. In love. Wow. Wait, I just want to hear it clean for a second. No, I'd be. Oh, fuck it. It's broken now. No way. <laughs> the power. Okay, well, I have Apple Music, so everyone fuck off. <laughs> the power. Oh. No. She broke both. I want like a stat of how many people are on this right to... now. It's literally fucking broke. Stop slut is so good, it is. Like, this has to be the most people on Spotify. Oh, 100%. I want to hear Suburban Legends. Spotify had to be prepared for this. Yeah, like, figure it out. Yeah. Wow. There we go. Suburban. You had people who called you on unmarked numbers. That part is the part she posted, the lyrics. Oh, really? I broke my own heart because you were too polite to do it. <laughs> I like that one a lot. Mm -hmm. Now that we don't talk, like yeah, retro -y. A funky beat. Yeah. yeah. A little retro beat. Now that we don't talk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, I really like that one. Oh my god. Uh, that's a good scream in the car one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. The beats are crazy. <laughs> 
cute off and off with bees. Like what? Look how cute the little background is. Aww. God, she's a lyrical genius. God, I have so much work to do. <laughs> <laughs> Only one minute here is say don't go, right? Or do we? Yeah. No, you're not gonna. Some of you already listened to the alt tracks, so yeah. Her range is crazy. Yeah, it's like. She'll go so deep on some. Is this one my favorite? I don't know. I for like, it's so hard to know. Blondie did it again. I have a lot to, to soak in, so I'm gonna go. <laughs>